Mark, horrible weather we've been having of late. How much work have you been able to do out on the training fields? Yeah, we've got really good training pitches, luckily. So um, we've managed to get on, on the pitch today and do some work and, and hopefully tomorrow as well. And how important is that with the games coming thick and fast? Yeah, it's, it's vitally important. You know, Hopefully the rain stops. It's supposed to stop Saturday, so uh, we can get the game on. And Plymouth, obviously, a big game. How much do you have to put to bed Tuesday night or, you know, because it's a completely different team? Is, is that an easy one to deal with? Yeah, Tuesday night's not even in our thoughts. We knew we had a good idea what what could happen. It was all about Saturday, and that's why we made the changes that we did. You know, we had to do it because Saturday's you know far more important for us. Um, come up against a a really really big club um, that I'm sure will finish at the top end of the league. And I think if you if you're going to get promoted, you've got to finish above Plymouth because we've got some really good players. They find life perhaps tougher than a lot of people would have thought. Presumably, though, someone will be on the end of a hiding at, at some point and you just make sure that it's not you. Yeah, I think when you're trying to drastically change the style of play, what, Ryan, what, you know, what Ryan's trying to implement, it does take time. And um, But they will get it right. And like I said, they've got good players. And, uh, and, and Ryan knows how to build a, a really entertaining team that, that plays good football and gets results. Top of the table, of course, it was a long time ago since El Clasico. Does that help in a way of making the players feel comfortable of being where they are? Because last time you, you only lasted one game at the top. I think it gives you belief that you're in your organisation and your structure that we've gone to a, a team that's doing really well and not been beaten at home for a long time and are above us in the league and we've we've put on a real dominant performance, not just in terms of f football, but out of possession, discipline, desire, all of that, which you have to do to win big games. Matty Stevens at the moment, his work rate, I mean, that must just be exactly what you want as, as a manager from a, a striker, whether he's scoring goals or not. Yeah, he, he sets an example. That should be an example for for every player. You know, it should be a given that you do that amount of running. But um, he is a one-off. And, um, you know, he, he makes sure defenders know that he's around, that's for certain. And actually, obviously, Aaron Collins played it in the FA Cup, sent off on, on Tuesday. What are your thoughts in terms of his position this weekend? He scored goals. He's um, got a lot of ability. Um, just needs to, to knuckle down now and work as hard as his partner, strike partner. And I'm sure if he does that, he'll continue to score goals. And actually, is there a lesson learned after Tuesday, do you feel? Hopefully for him, yes. Injury sounds the squad? Uh, yeah, good. We have Kevin Dawson back with us. Um, Matt Mills got some minutes, which was, which is what we needed. So yeah, we have two two players back this weekend. We lose Elliot Freer, who probably won't make it. We'll give him as long as possible, but we have those two back to soften the blow. And Dorsa right after the kick on the knee, or the kick on the ankle. Yeah, it was a naughty tackle, that. I haven't looked back at it, but yeah, he's, he's fine. Thank you, good luck. Thanks. Mark, what do you expect from Ryan Lowe's Plymouth? What are their threats? Very expansive. Play 3-5-2. Have players in the middle of the pitch, like Danny Mayer, George Cooper, that uh, Sarsevich, that can really hurt you. So, um, like every week, you know, so we have to be on our guard. We have to respect their threats. They've got a lot of them, and um, we'll have to play well to win. Plymouth for 13th at the moment, but only eight points off the top. Does that just go to show how tight League Two is? Yeah, of course. I'm sure Ryan's looking at it thinking if we can spring two or three wins together, we're right right in the middle of it. Yeah. Do you feel League Two is an inconsistent league in terms of results? Um, yeah, but the, the, the stats would say that. But, um, I think if you can stay consistent, then you can get a little bit of a cushion, which is what ideally what we'd like to do, but we have to focus on Saturday and, and try and get three points. Ryan Lowe said some nice things about you this week, he said you're a great manager and you've got a great team. Is there a good relationship between you and Ryan? Um, yeah, I've never, you know, obviously first time I've sort of really come come across Ryan last year. His team were really good and we had two really good games against him. We played really well here and, and got beat. Um, but the, you know, showed the firepower they had, you know. Um, so, yeah, I like the way they play. 
uh, very expansive and play some lovely football. It's going to be a red hot atmosphere on Saturday. Plymouth has sold out, I, I believe, just over a thousand fans. How, as a club and a, as a team, how do you negate that vocal support? It's noise, as we said about Cheltenham. It's noise. You have to forget about that. You know, the, the fans can't play the game for them as loud as they will be. And brilliant travel support from Plymouth. Um, but it's noise. We have to. We have to. Uh, not worry too much about that and, and impose our our game on them. Yeah, I mean Plymouth are in the scheme of things are they're they're a big football club. Big city, big football club, really good football club, big following, and I'm, like I say, I'm sure they've got aspirations at the top end of the league. Just want to touch back on Tuesday night. <coughs> you made you made ten changes, blooded a lot of the academy boys. What will they have learned from a, a game of, of that magnitude for them? Uh, I think. It's about what level they need, where you know level they need to be at to, to forge a career as a professional footballer. The intensity you need to play at, the sharpness you need to have. Um, so yeah, it should uh, it should give them a good insight into what's needed. Yeah, just finally one more for me. I want to touch on the FA Cup draw. We haven't spoken to you about the FA Cup draw. Carlisle at home. What, what were your thoughts on that? Good draw. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna go a, a decent way in a competition and you get given a home draw against a team that are struggling or have been struggling, then you can't ask much more than that. Yeah, they part the company with Stephen Presley, so they're probably going to be a managerless team by the time you come up against them. That's there's, always a different proposition. There's a couple of weeks left yet, so I'm sure they'll be trying to get that in place as quick as possible. They won't want to leave it too long. But, um, yeah, it was a strange one that sacking a manager after they just had a really good win in the FA Cup. So you would think they had something lined up to do that. Thank you.